can't expect all the parents to do what the teachers are supposed to be doing too. Learning remotely is putting a strain on students, especially when it comes to keeping them interested in classes and on track. The situation right now is not about catching students up, but keeping students engaged. Lexington City School Board member and Vice Chairman John Burke tells Fox 8 the district is looking at every possible idea to help students succeed. Summer schools, part of that discussion, uh, the calendar, uh, you know, our current traditional calendar is part of that discussion. So, you know, I would say that um, it's not one particular um, action, but looking at all actions. Including a non-traditional school calendar, where students would attend school all year long. They'd have the same number of school days as a traditional calendar, 180. But instead of one long summer break, students would have three weeks off after four 45-day terms, with six weeks off in the summer. I do believe that it's a good idea. Marsha Dawes' granddaughter has autism and attends school a couple days a week, learning remotely the rest of the days. She's seen her granddaughter struggle with hybrid learning and believes more time in class would help her get back on track. She's very smart, but without having that classroom experience, she is behind. I would think for her, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have the summer school. I think everything is on the table for review and discussion about what would be the best actions to take to help our students. But we also have to plan for the future. And so the planning doesn't wait, it starts now.